How do you turn a smart used car purchase into an awesome driving experience? Take off the roof, of course. Today we've got four convertibles that can transform themselves and transform your day. So if you want to have some fun on the road, you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Ryan from Edmonds. Each year, we painstakingly test and review hundreds of cars, while CarMax experts buy, sell, and appraise thousands and thousands. We're combining our car testing knowledge with their experience to help you make the right choice on your next car. Hey, before we get started, if you could click that little like button down there, that would be super rad. And don't forget to subscribe to the CarMax channel to see more videos just like this one. Also, leave us a comment and let us know if your favorite car or maybe not so favorite car made the list. Convertibles harken back to the thing that made me fall in love with cars in the first place. They're fun. They come in different shapes, different sizes, but they share the common ability to get you where you're going with a smile on your face. First up is an American icon, the Ford Mustang. You want to cruise around in style with bundles of power under your right foot, right? Well, here you go. This generation of the Ford Mustang first debuted in 2015, but at Edmonds, we recommend looking for a 2018 or newer. That's when the Mustang got a lot of upgrades that we rate very highly. You also have your choice of two different engines. Pro tip, go with the V8. It's so choice. This is a muscle car that delicately balances old school retro design with hints of modern taste and comfort. Oh, and it has a crap ton of power. We are gonna have fun today. Inside, the Mustang presents itself really nicely. Sure, there's some hard plastic and some of these metal pieces maybe aren't quite as authentic as they appear, but it's all put together really nicely. One note on equipment. Base versions of the Mustang are pretty sparse. From 2018 and on, those versions only came with a 4.2 inch center screen. No Apple CarPlay, no Android Auto. Now, if you wanna get the larger eight inch screen like we have here, with Ford's really nice Sync 3 infotainment system and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, look for the EcoBoost Premium or GT Premium. Don't forget that word, premium. This one's even got cooled seats. The top takes about 10 seconds. Is it the easiest system ever? Well, you do have to use some elbow grease. I give it three out of five suns wearing sunglasses. The Mustang GT is one wild ride. That V8 engine is a blast of power that doesn't really let up. We also like the 10 speed automatic transmission, but to truly feel in control, we still recommend the six speed manual. We also really like the ride comfort. And in terms of braking, the Mustang didn't perform as well as some competitors in our Edmunds testing, but it does feel composed. Pros for the Mustang include strong engines that you can choose from, as well as a comfortable ride and good practicality for a muscle car. On the con side, the Mustang has big doors and not a lot of back seat space. Base versions are also pretty sparse when it comes to features. Is it my birthday or something? Because today's cars have been straight out of the desire part of my brain, and that does not stop now. This Miata debuted in 2016 in this soft top version, or the RF folding hardtop, and it's a smile with wheels. The great thing about the Miata is that it's laser focused on being a driver's car. The more you push it, the better it gets, and why am I not driving it yet? Ugh. I am a big fan of the Miata's minimalist interior design. That makes all the controls really easy to find and reach when you need them. But be warned, the Miata is simply not a comfortable place for people six feet or taller. I'm six feet tall and I'm basically at the edge of my limits here. Speaking of limits, cubby space and trunk space is laughable. Seriously, you'll laugh. All Miatas come with a seven inch center screen and you can control it using this small dial. Look for a club trim like this one to get extra features like heated seats, an upgraded stereo, and blind spot monitoring. Now, if you want more driver assistance features, look for the iActiveSense package. 
but in 2020 and newer models, that package is standard. Ready to lose the roof? There's no power button this time. We are going manual, and that makes it a little harder than the others. Two out of five sons playing volleyball. You wanna buckle up nice and tight because the Miata is an exhilarating ride. Look for 2019 and newer models because they got a bump in power. In our Edmunds testing, the Miata hit zero to 60 in six seconds flat. And in something this small, that is fast. If you're just cruising, the truth is you can expect a pretty comfortable ride. The seats are nicely shaped for excellent support and it's comfortable over rough roads. It can get noisy inside, but don't let that be the reason you back away. Pros for the Miata include quick acceleration and obviously remarkable handling. This is basically the template for affordable fun. The cons are an almost total lack of storage space, pretty poor headroom, and a noisy ride. This generation of the Cooper debuted in 2016. It's a convertible for people who follow their inner kid. Fun over comfort, speed over space, style over everything. The Mini is tiny in all of its forms, which makes everything you do in it feel exaggerated. Now imagine all that, but with the top down. It's a recipe for pint-sized fun. Mini does not skimp on the inside. This cabin is highlighted by authentic metal switches and soft leathers and plastics that feel nice to touch. This is a compact car, so everything is easily within reach. But unlike the Miata, taller drivers can get more comfortable in the front seats because the seats have more adjustment and so does the steering wheel. Some downsides. The infotainment controller is pretty awkward to reach and the back seats are basically non-existent for adults. Oh yeah, and the trunk is especially small. If you put the top down, you can maybe get some shoe boxes in there. Maybe. Tech-wise, every Mini Cooper from this year comes with a 6.5 inch center screen with Bluetooth capability. You also get rear parking sensors, which is helpful because you can't really see out all that well without them. For an upgrade, look for the iconic trim. That has an 8.8 .8 inch screen with Apple CarPlay beginning in 2019, but you won't find Android Auto anywhere. It's top down time. You just hold this switch. First, it opens the sunroof, so wait for that. Hold it again and the whole surrounding structure comes down. Easy, right? But you can also use the key to do it outside the car, which is a nice bonus. I give it four out of five suns on a surfboard. On the road, the Mini puts all of its parts together very nicely. The real star is the chassis that seems to actively love being handled with aggression. The car just feels right. That doesn't mean it's always comfortable you will feel cracks in the road. It's just a sporty, stiff car. Bumps are part of the game. Pros for the Mini include thrilling engine options, plus tight handling and an upscale cabin for passengers. Its cons, however, are a stiff ride, pretty pricey trim levels, and limited space inside. When you think convertibles, you might not think Jeep Wrangler but the Wrangler is just as much a convertible as any of the others here. Heck, you can even take the doors off. This generation of the Jeep Wrangler came out in 2018, and that's exactly what we have here today, a 2018 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. That sticker means this SUV comes with all of the off-road equipment you could ever want, and probably a bunch that you didn't even know you wanted. This generation of the Wrangler took a big leap forward in terms of interior quality. I mean, just look at these plush seats, leather dash, and a stitched steering wheel in a Wrangler. Pretty wild. We also like that these controls are really close and easy to find. They've got a grippy outside, bright colors, big letters, really easy to find, even if you're covered in dust or something. And when I'm driving this thing, I am often covered in dust. We would also recommend that you look for this 8.4 inch touchscreen with Jeep's excellent Uconnect system. This screen has a really nice picture. It's crisp, it's quick, it's clear, and it comes with navigation. So if you're off the grid somewhere and you can't get cell reception to find a map on your phone, it's always right there. There's a soft top, a hard top, or a combination called the Sky One Touch Power Top, 
which is easy to peel back like a giant sunroof. Are any of these perfect to use? No. They're actually a bit of a beast, but it is a lot of fun. One out of five suns in a sailboat. On the road is not necessarily where you wanna be in a Wrangler. The steering, brakes, and suspension are all prepped for off-roading. Around town, that makes for a sometimes bumpy and messy driving experience. We definitely recommend getting a Wrangler with the hard top to reduce the road and wind noise. As a bonus, your passengers won't have to yell for you to hear them. Beach, mountains, river crossings, big ol' rocks, the Wrangler is ready to do it all, especially in this Rubicon trim. If you want to drop the top and really experience the outdoors in a new way, there is little else like it. The pros for the Wrangler are that its off-road prowess is unmatched, and it's also got really snappy tech, surprisingly. Oh, the cons. For the Wrangler, they include a rough ride and simply loose steering. Once you get up to speed, there's no getting around the noise inside the cabin. Are you not seeing what you need here? Of course, the BMW 4 Series is always a distinguished way to enjoy the weather, and the Chevrolet Corvette and its bulging front end will never get lost in a crowd. We learned a lot here today, namely that you're about to have a lot of fun in your next car. But what kind of fun do you wanna have? The kind where you drive fast, you maybe don't have a lot of trunk space, and your hair gets all messy? Or the kind where you drive slower, you have a rough and tumble ride, and your hair gets all messy. Thank you for joining us today. Leave us a comment below and let us know if your favorite used drop top did not make the list. And subscribe to the CarMax channel to see more videos just like this one. If you'd like to read a full in-depth article about each of these vehicles, click the link in the description below.